It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills on Sunday night primetime. We are 20 minutes south of downtown Buffalo. It is Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park, New York. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the packs. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. The kicker, Tyler Bass, has us ready to start. And off we go from Buffalo. On the return, it's Devin Duvernay. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Jacksonville comes out with the former number one overall pick. Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback. Six foot six, tall and talented. Greg, hard to believe, already is season four for Lawrence after his days at Clemson. The Clemson product, he entered the league a couple years ago, Mike, as one of the best quarterback prospects we've seen really in the last decade. And it's easy to see why when you put on the tape, right, his physical skills, his arm strength, they jump out at you. But now, if he's ever going to reach that full potential, he has to start placing an emphasis on protecting the ball. Get rid of the bad. There's so much good in his game. Don't let it be overshadowed. That's been the biggest knock of his career. And if he can change that, the sky is the limit. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. From the shotgun, it's nowhere to go. He is taken down. In there for the sack. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack. And we'll see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now, 1,000-yard rusher from a season ago, Travis Etienne. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. On fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. So out come the Bills and the face of the franchise, 28-year-old Josh Allen. Year seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. I feel like every time I watch him, I come away with this, like, throwback feel. I mean, the way he plays the position, he is not going to look to slide. He is not looking to avoid contact. He kind of plays this game like it was played years ago at the quarterback position. And now, Mike, let's be honest. It's very easy to do it when you're usually one of the biggest guys in the field, the fastest guys in the field, and has the biggest arm. So the physical traits allow him to play that style, but he is just a blast to watch and somebody who can just tell truly loves playing the game. 
great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Allen. That's to the rookie from Florida State, Keon Coleman. Doing a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. On first and 10, it's Allen. That's complete to his tight end. It's Dawson Knox. A gain of 16 yards. Good for a Bills first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. These two moving the chains themselves. A gain of 14 and a first down. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike Early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. A good spot here, second and a yard. From the gut, Josh Allen. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. And he will score. Dawson Knox, touchdown Buffalo. Really nice job there by the receiver, understanding what to do after you secure the catch and the ability to target him in the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. If you can hit them in stride and be accurate with the ball, there is a lot of green grass to pick up yards after the catch, and he's able to take this one all the way into the end zone for six. Tyler Bass now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and Bills will take a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Jaguars offense ready to see the football for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Here's first and ten. Play action now. It's Lawrence. He's going to air this out for Davis. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day.
Lawrence gives this one to ETN. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. Second and seven. Lawrence. A pass complete to the tight end, Evan Ingram. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. ETN now on first and ten. Oh! And he's going to be taken down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. He pulls it in around the five. And he's going to be stopped at about the four. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. They run on the jet sweep, and he'll get about halfway there to gain a two down to the two. Goal. He'll try and run with ETN. And he is not going to get in to make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. That's going to bring up fourth and goal. You can just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Little's kick is good. And the Jaguars are on the board. It's seven to three. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. Now an opening past the 30. And he finally gets forced out of bounds, but that was a fantastic return. And that's a heck of a return right there. I mean, he's going to bounce his way towards the left sideline. Just a ton of space over there to run. And they finally get him out of bounds. But not until he nearly managed to turn the corner and almost take it all the way. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten Allen gonna give it to Cook and he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards here's a second and six So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. The Bills with the early advantage. 
and EA Sports. NFL Sunday returns after this. Here's second and six. Slot man in motion left. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Looking to Samuel on the out route. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Got his man at the six. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Allen. He's in. Curtis Samuel. Touchdown, Bills. Point try by Bass. He's got it. And the Bills extend their advantage to 14 to 3. the touchdown bass is back to kick it off this one take it at the seven he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the jaguars offense headed back to take over once more they trail now 14 to 3 so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10 Lawrence now. He locates the open man. That's Christian Kirk. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Throw left side, taken in by Thomas. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Open man is Davis. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Davis with a nice first down grab, and he's really developed into a good receiver, especially these last few seasons, going over 700 yards in each of the previous two. That level of consistency is one of the main reasons why the Jaguars made it a priority to go out and sign him in free agency. Up the middle, here's ETN. And he'll get four on this one. 
down inside the 40-yard line now. Here's the first carry for Tank Bigsby. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. They'll try and run for the first with ETN. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? This is third and short. Just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. First and ten. To throw is Lawrence. A quick slant into the hands of Thomas. Second down and three. Here's Lawrence. There's a short one taken by Ingram. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. The tight end, Ingram, is on the move. A first down throw for Lawrence. That caught by Davis. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and so far they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. Here's third and two. Now Lawrence, that is caught, and he'll take it on in. Gabe Davis, touchdown Jacksonville. Cam Little comes on now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Jaguars are back within four. It is 14 to 10. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bills offense and Curtis Samuel getting set for their next possession. Philippe sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. 
This drive begins with first and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got that complete to us. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I back in Buffalo after this. Here's second and three to go. They motion the slot man left. Allen to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Allen on third down. That's taken in by Shakir. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. To throw again, it's Allen. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks, and... At this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. He'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll motion over Samuel. Again, it's Allen to the air. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he'll get this up close to a first down as the tackle is made right at the midfield strike. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. They send him right out of the slot. One more time going up top with Allen. Has his man, it's Samuel. And he will score. Curtis Samuel, touchdown Buffalo. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. Third down. My focus, Greg, was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown. Now Bass to tag on the extra point. His kick is good. And the Bills are out to a 21 to 10 lead. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Jaguars offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. 
to the right side. He's got Ingram, the tight end. The Jags will use the first of their timeouts here. It comes with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Second down and eight. The tight end, Ingram, is on the move. Second down, Lawrence. Looking free downfield, it's Kirk. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll let this one go. Deep for Thomas. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. That's into the hands of Travis Etienne. That was not what they were hoping for. He's going to go out of bounds behind the line. A loss on that one. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. He'll let this one go. Deep for Thomas. And this ball incomplete on third down. Brian Thomas, the intended receiver. And it's going to lead to fourth down. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Bills offense going to take over just before the half. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Look in the middle, he's got to complete to Coleman. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Out of the gun, here's Allen. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. They'll come up here first and ten. Slot man in motion left. They'll throw on first down with Allen. That's to the left side and taken in by Coleman. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Tyler 
Tyler Bass on to try the field goal. Spotted at the 45, this is a 55-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And their lead will stay right where it is. Man, that would have been such a nice boost for this group going into halftime. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just couldn't quite get it through the uprights. On first down, Lawrence. He'll let this one go. Deep for Thomas. And a critical tackle there. They're getting close to scoring. Instead, they get nothing. Time has run out. This first half has come to an end. All right, Mike. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half of football by the great quarterback, Josh Allen. He threw a first-quarter touchdown pass. Then two more in the second quarter, a three-touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Set to go now on first and ten. From the gun, Josh Allen. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. We'll go play action here with Allen. Got an open downfield on the crossing route. Another big play. And another first down. 26 on that one. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Receiver in motion, headed left. They'll run straight ahead with Cook. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On second down, Allen. He gets this to the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. From the gun on third down, it's Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. 
And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. Duvernay on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Jags offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. To throw is Lawrence. Open man is Davis. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. This one is caught, and it's the tight end screen. Really nice job there defensively playing the integrity of that zone defense so well. Anytime an offense is running these crossing routes or these underneath drag routes, they're trying to cause confusion with the underneath zone defenders. In this case, they all stuck to their reads. They all played their responsibilities. Secure the tackle after the catch. They're not able to pick up any additional yards after the catch. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. His throw left side, taken in by Kirk. He is in. Christian Kirk. Touchdown, Jaguars. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. The kick is good, and the Jaguars back within seven. It's 24 to 17. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Bills offense and Josh Allen head back onto the field. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific. All game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10.
They go play action now. Here's Allen. He's going to let this one go deep. That one broke it up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Samuel has it working the middle. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. There's Trevor Lawrence as he and the Jaguars get set for their next drive. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Lawrence now to throw on first down. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The carry here for ETN. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. I think what stands out here, Mike, is there's a lot of guys in the league with the ball in their hands. They have great straight line speed. But it's the footwork. It's the ability to make you miss. That's what stands out about this guy. And you can see here on the big game. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Once again, it's ETN. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen. They'll come up now for second down and four. They'll run it once more with ETN. And he's going to have a first down. Good run down inside the 45-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. A first down throw for Lawrence. Short pass taken in by the tight end. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. They'll work now on second and four. Now Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And this ball incomplete on third down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, 
They're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And that is no good. He missed it. And they are not able to draw closer. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. And you'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. From the gun, it's Allen. And on third down, that ball incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Dawson Knox. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. Travis Etienne and the Jaguar offense ready to get back to work. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. They'll give it to ETN to start this drive. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run the toss here to ETN. It's a pickup of 12. First down, Jacksonville. Look how everybody moves in sync on this play, Mike. You have the linemen hitting their pull blocks, the guys on the outside working one-on-one. -on -one. They clear just enough room to let them hit it, and next thing you know, picks up the first down. So we are through three. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. taken down really nice timing on that slant route you can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page and when executed at that level it's virtually impossible to stop the tight end Ingram is on the move now second down throw for Lawrence Open man downfield, that's Ingram. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and 
The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. Take it in, back at his own 12. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? In motion, Shakir. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything, because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. On first and 10, it's Allen. That finds Samuel working across. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And while Samuel might have a new home in Buffalo, Mike, he's still that same dynamic guy that I played with all those years back as a young player in Carolina. He is so dynamic with the ball in his hands that in this Buffalo offense, you can either throw it to him, hand it to him, but either way, just get him the ball. Like we saw there, and they get a fresh set of downs. Whoa! And he'll get four on this one down inside the 40-yard line now. Out of the gun, here's Allen. Looking middle, he's got to complete to Coleman. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Here's Allen to throw. He'll drop this underneath to Cook. 
And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike. You never go broke taking a profit. Give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back, allow him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. Here's a handoff to Cook. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Can they keep this drive rolling? Here is third and inches. They'll motion over Samuel. He'll try and run here with Cook. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. So, they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Second and two. Once again, it's Cook. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets him down to about the four yard line. finishing a game get the ball and leave no doubt but that late touchdown Mike that should all but just seal this victory away pass now for the extra point He's got it. And the Bills will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Now return, coming from the seven. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense and Travis Etienne set to get back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Here is first and ten. They'll drop to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. The Buffalo crowd being heard before third down. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up. Mike, you can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, He's just attacking it and breaking it up. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. The Bills offense ready to get back to work. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been hot. And now the referee looks like he has gotten word from replay. They're going to stop the game. Inside the last two minutes, all replays emanate from there. What they're looking at here is the spot of the football. Always tricky to get this exactly right, but it only takes a few inches to make a big impact. So slow this down, find a landmark on the field, and determine where the spot should be. After review of the play, ruling on the field stands. So that is what you want. I know sometimes it takes time, but they do get it right. And this call will stand. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Now the Jags will use their third and final timeout. The stoppage comes with just over a minute to play in this one. Try again, it's second and ten. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo. Buffalo.